The beauty of Bitcoin is it's completely decentralized and there's no way to cheat the system. And the small blockers were concerned that if the blocks got too big, they'd fill up with spam. People would start streaming movies into the Bitcoin blockchain, you know, filling it up with pictures, images, junk, whatever. And with no limit on the block size, the blocks would get so large that they would become unmanageable. And pretty soon you'd have to trust a company to tell you whether everything in Bitcoin blockchain was legit. And they felt like the big benefit of Bitcoin was you don't have to trust anyone to tell you if it's legit. You can pull out your home laptop and check for yourself. And so anyway, ultimately, the small blockers were more of the ideological purists. And ultimately, they won the, the battle. And a lot of the big blockers split off and started something called Bitcoin Cash, which trades under the ticker BCH. So the real Bitcoin is BTC. And there's something called Bitcoin Cash, which trades under the ticker BCH, which is their version of what they thought Bitcoin should be. Now, Bitcoin Cash trades for less than 1% of the value of a Bitcoin. So even though both of them are out there on the marketplace, Bitcoin Cash has been trending towards zero, you know, ever since its invention just like Shiba Inu and Dogecoin and all of those other things will eventually trend towards zero. Bitcoin Cash is also trending towards zero. So that is the Bitcoin block size war. Mostly took place between 2015 and 2017. It was an ideological battle over the future of Bitcoin, whether it should be a payment network or whether payment networks should be built on top of Bitcoin, like the Lightning Network, or even using networks like Visa or MasterCard, and in, in my case, with the Coinbase debit card, it uses the Visa network. So of course, it's spending Bitcoin, but it's spending Bitcoin via a layer two solution, which is a solution on top of Bitcoin, which is Coinbase with the Coinbase debit card. And then the combination of that and the Visa network are making it all work. So anyways, that, that was the sort of epic showdown. The small blockers won, which means even today, there's a one megabyte block size limit on the size of a Bitcoin block which means if you want to transfer value, you have to bid to have your transaction included. Now, the upside of that is, of course, those transaction fees are enough to make the Bitcoin network viable, even if there's no block reward. By having those transaction fees in there because the block size is limited, if the block size was unlimited, there would be no reason to have transaction fees, and therefore there'd be no incentive for the miners to secure and audit the network. So small blockers won. There will always be an incentive for miners to audit and secure the Bitcoin network because there are transaction fees that make that a profitable endeavor. The trade-off, which is a big one, but the trade-off with that is payment networks effectively have to be layer two because the core chain is too expensive to transact with to buy a cup of coffee.